What is ivocidinib? Ivocidinib is a medication called an IDH1 inhibitor. And this is an example in oncology of targeted therapy. So not every patient is eligible to respond to ivocidinib, and only patients who have a mutation in a gene called IDH1 are eligible and would respond to ivocidinib. What is an IDH1 mutation? IDH1 is a mutation that is found in about 5 to 10 percent of patients who have acute myeloid leukemia. It causes a problem in some of the metabolism of different blood cells that creates this product called 2-HG, which makes it so that cells can grow out of control and lead to leukemia. IDH1 is found not in every patient, but when it is found, it is an indication that this is a patient who may be benefiting from treatment with an IDH1 inhibitor. How would a patient know if they have this mutation? A patient would know that they have an IDH1 mutation based on different mutational tests that we do. And this is frequently done at diagnosis at the time of a bone marrow biopsy, where we send a test called next generation sequencing to understand what sort of gene mutations their leukemia harbors. There's other ways to detect these mutations throughout the course of someone's disease, but it is usually done from either a blood test or a bone marrow test. When during the course of treatment would someone with an IDH1 mutation receive ivocidinib? So ivocidinib can be given both in the first part of treatment, called induction, or if leukemia relapses. And IDH1 can be given in both of these settings and has shown to be beneficial and have activity and can treat both initially newly diagnosed leukemia or AML that has relapsed after previous treatments. How is ivocidinib administered? Ivocidinib is a pill that is taken every day, and it is a pill that is uh, taken just with, with water and can be very well tolerated, but it is often combined with other medications uh, to improve the effectiveness of ivocidinib. What is it usually used in combination with? So ivocidinib is effective by itself, just given by itself, either in newly diagnosed patients or in patients who have relapsed. But we've also learned that ivocidinib is even more effective if given with other medications. And mostly these are medications called hypomethylating agents, specifically a medication called azacitidine, which is an injection or infusion that's given. And the combination of both of those drugs really makes it so that Ivocidin works better when given with this medication. Thanks for watching. By creating a HealthTree account, you can get exclusive access to the latest HealthTree University content, track your course progress, take quizzes, and bookmark lessons. Visit the links in the description below to get started.